So, hello, my name is Anastasi Metalalis. You can just call me Ani for short. I am a senior graduating this December from the University of Michigan Dearborn. I'm a history and political science major. And I spent this past summer five weeks in Ottawa working in Canada's parliament as an intern in Anthony Rhoda's office, who is the assistant deputy speaker of Canada's parliament in the House of Commons. Now, what I exactly did in this five weeks in Ottawa was work in this constituency office in Ottawa helping work with the district. Now because of the uniqueness of the Assistant Deputy Speaker with a less political and more on the keeping order within the House of Commons, I focus more on less on the parliamentary side and political side and focus mostly on the constituency side. So my main role here was doing constituency work, responding to constituent concerns and emails, even sometimes phone calls. But the most unique part about this office experience was we created a video series for my Member of Parliament for his writing to see what exactly he has been doing in Parliament in terms of policies and everything else, or additionally just what is a Member of Parliament and what do they do, and what does the Speaker of the House of Commons do to keep the people of his writing, or what we would call in, our, in America a Congressional District, informed. I really did get to view the United States from an outside perspective, which allowed me to go, okay, well, maybe this is not necessarily how everything needs to be done the American way. There's always there's another solution. So that gives, allows you to get out of the mindset of, oh, America does everything right. And it also allows you to be more critical on America's current policies or practices, and there's probably a best or better way to do it, potentially, so who knows? It's a unique job opportunity that not many other people are going to have, and it'll make you stand out from other competitors for, say, a job in politics, whatever that may be, from a lobbyist to a campaign manager or whatever. It's just something that makes you unique and stands out. If President Trudeau, or not President Trudeau, Prime Minister Trudeau is still in office. That's another reason why to go. I can tell you this, you cannot in America run into the head of state on the street without being swarmed by Secret Service. However, in Canada, you can actually run into the Prime Minister in Parliament, but also on the street. I had a really good experience of where I ran into him out on the street. He was in just regular street clothing, walking down the street. Although he had his security service, well, not security service, but you know, his version of the Secret Service with him. It's still something that you can't get in America where you can just run into a major head of state like that without being tackled. Because he walked about five feet away from me and smiled at me and I got a nice picture of it. So if you want to have an opportunity like that to meet an important head of state, that's a great opportunity to do so. Also, depending on the party that you serve, I work with the Liberal Party. If Justin Trudeau is your thing and you like him, you can also work for the Liberal Party. They host a yearly uh, garden party, uh, either at the Prime Minister's house or in some other location in Ottawa for the staff. And if you work with the Liberal Party, you are invited to go. All you have to do is show your parliamentary badge and you get in, and then you can have an opportunity to meet Justin Trudeau, which I got a nice photo with him, taken by an official photographer, and got to you know, shake his hand and stand next to him for 15 seconds. But still, even though it was short, it's still a unique experience that you can't get in the United States so easily.